one star, one illuminary. See how it's moving all over the place. What is it really? Heavenly Father, please give me wisdom and more spin, more memory. I need it. I need memory so I could remember everything I learned. Then everything could add up. And I really have studied so many different things. I don't remember everything. I wish I was a genius, but I'm not. It makes me sad. This thing is not working right over here. Okay. I'm gonna put this one down a little bit. Right here. This one down a little bit. Right here. Right there. That's better. I had something on the camera. Jeez. Of nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not even the trees. No, I can see the trees. That's about it. <sighs> I'm going to take a Orion, at least. I love a beautiful video of Orion. Come on, Orion. Come in beautiful for me, please. You know, I learned uh, a symbol of Orion is an X. And yeah, I saw a big X yesterday. I was wondering, does that mean like Orion people were around? What does that mean? Why did I see the X? It was because I saw the two lamps. get you. I'm going to say put it on here. I don't want to have to do this. This is too hard. I just want to put the thing down and record. Mm. Look at this. Go up. Where's the, the daggone trees? Right there. I barely see them. This seems like a waste of my time. I'm not, I can't do anything. It's trees. Oh man, this is ridiculous. So ridiculous. Oh. Why is that one? At least I got this one. I don't know why this looks like that. I don't like being in a state of confusion. Maybe because light is drawn down. Like they say. Light. And there's like misty. Mistiness. Oh, come on. Moon.
Why is that happening? I don't know. <sighs> it's, it's like a moon right there. And what the heck is this? There's three dots. Probably out of focus. I don't know how to make it go in focus. This is zoom in, this is zoomed out. This way. Just like this should be perfect. Uh, can I get this? It is so hard. This is so hard. This is so hard. I don't even see nothing now. Wonderful. I don't see a dang on thing. I need to take this off the daggone thing. I wasted so much time oh, trying to tune this in. Which I really need to just go like this and do it. See over there. My damn thing. That's out of line. I'm not going to get anything else. Okay. Now. Visible. <sighs> oh, can't see nothing. Come on. This is really freaking ridiculous. I mean, it's hard to do this. I can't even get this isn't coming clearly. Why would I think I can get anything else to coming clearly? 
This is wet or something. This is so hard. Beautiful. Oh, wow. As soon as I moved it. Don't move it. Look at that. This is ridiculous. I'm trying to think what makes this happen. Excuse me. No, do not even try. I messed my video all up. I don't see nothing. That's beautiful clouds. Okay. Seen a glow in blue clouds now. There's a Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Hi. There's a Maya Ryan. Beautiful Ryan. Right there. A couple minutes of Orion. I haven't seen Orion in so long. It's sad. So long. Orion is so far from me. I don't know why I haven't moved that far from Ryan. I mean, and my house was it's not that far from here. I'm just saying why can't why I can't see Orion like I used to be able to see it. I used to be able to see it real clear. And now it feels like it's so far away. It's a uh, beautiful sky right there. Beautiful. I heard that she did that. I ain't gonna record the moment this no more. I'm gonna get the mini, mini, mini one I used to have. That's so easy to use. This stuff is hard, hard, hard. So hard to do. And I'm tired of it. I just want a, a tiny little one. Even if I can't see that far as I can with this. At least I could use it. This one. Oh, come on. Look at that mask face. But, uh, that's a man. I think Mark. Mark Michael Zuckerberg is the reincarnation of King Philip the Fifth. Looks exactly like King Philip the Fifth. His twin. Royal Bloodlines was reading all about it. And guess what? Everything always gets passed on to the next bloodline. And what if they just keep re reincarnating themselves over and over and over? All they need is blood. Their blood to reincarnate them. And then they have the royal bloodline. This is how greedy these people are. They just want so much power to control this planet. They just want to keep dying and keep re being reborn. It's ridiculous. 
Because of greed. Because of greed. So sad. So sad. This is what the world has come to. And these royal bloodline lunatics ruining the world, poisoning it. With all these contaminations they put in the air, the water. They don't care. They just want to keep us all using gas and electricity so we can feed their pockets and be quiet and do our job and shut up. That's what they want. And say a dang on word. I want none of us have to have a brain. Because that would be a problem. If one of us would figure all this shit out. That means the rest of us can also. I don't even know if I ever even really seen spaceships. I've been thinking about that. What if all of those are ships that the government created? Oh, yeah. They plant them next to people like me that say that they could they seen UFOs. And then as soon as I see it, I'm like, oh, UFO, UFO. And I fell for the trap. Hook, line, and sinker it was all a trap for me to do that. Like a program. I'm not trying to think of the mind of a program anymore. I'm to break the free from this freaking program. Use my own brain. Not be a damn program. But you know what I found out today? It's all about frequencies. Lower frequencies, they deteriorate. That, ca that causes deterioration in your body. And these type of frequencies can, um, people can send signals to our bodies. And you know, what can disrupt the signal? Noise. I forgot the other one. Some type of interruption of a signal. They can just download any frequency they want in us and make us. Okay, this one is going to be sick. It's going to feed the bank, feed the hospitals. This one's going to lose her mind. She's going to go to a mental hospital. This one's going to get in a car accident today. And feed the banks, and, and then she's going to die. We're going to use all her organs. It's like that. Like that crazy. Yeah. Each one of us providing a service for them. For their corporations and their buildings. To, to stay standing and then they're gonna give us this stupid school that's never gonna teach us anything they're gonna feed us poison in our food and our water and our medicine and our clothes and our makeup anything that you could think of and then they want to look down on you like you're ignorant and dumb and docile the whole time they poisoned you to make you in that mindset and they still feel entitled to judge us, to judge us all. And it's insane because they put us all in this predicament, each and every one of us. They, I think after what I learned about frequency and bloodlines, it's all about your frequency in your bloodline when you're born. They do this witch ritual and they stab your child in the heel and take their blood. It's all to feed the souls for the church. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. I learned about all these special things that healings that the church can do. Churches, none of those churches have never done that one of them. And even when they baptize you, they don't fully baptize you. 
They only do the one on the forehead when they're supposed to be doing your forehead, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your ears, your hands, your feet, and I forgot your torso. You're supposed to be blessing all of that. And they only bless one thing, so it's like a joke. They leave it unfinished. No one is never really baptized. <laughs> I found that out today. I found out so much insane things. How we all been led astray. Down the rabbit hole. And then the Pope, how dare he say, oh my God, you guys watch Lord of the Rings, you're gonna go to hell. Yeah, keep feeding the system fear because that's your job. You're ignorant. First of all, he's not ignorant. He's probably very intelligent. He knows what he's doing. And he, he, his job is to sell fear. And that's what he does. He sells fear. People buy it. Oh, my God. I watch Lord of the Rings. I'm going to go to hell. Oh, my God. Oh. Wait a second. Meanwhile, all his pastors are molesting children, and he don't talk about that. <laughs> he don't got nothing to say about that, though. He wants you to keep sending your children to his churches where many of them go missing. All these children go missing. And the whole time he knows what's really going on, how <clears throat> long ago, the Templar Knights, they actually were um, teaching the Christ, the Christos doctrine or the teachings or whatever. And they went and not, basically they hijacked the Templar Knights. They uh, tortured them all, killed them, so they could own the rights to land in the ocean and all the royalties that come with Jesus. They could claim it. Now the church claims as if they're God, they're the voice of God, and they get to uh, own everything, basically. They're the owners of everything. And they're even the owners of us now. They even made them the owners of us. They made us all slaves. It's just crazy. This is the world we live in. What type of world is this? This is hell. It truly is hell and you're being distracted all about. Buy this perfume, buy this makeup. Watch this video. Uh, get this car. Everything is a distraction so you don't recognize you're in hell. Everything is a distraction keep you from the truth that this place is it is toxic they'll keep you poor forever struggling just to make your bills and you never get to go on no vacation never get to go see the rest of the planet that never happens for you no 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 you are the slave how the hell did these people get away with this for so many years? And then they talk about all these other people from other planets trying to help us. I don't believe that anymore. Because everything that I know, if they knew it, then how could they not have done anything? How could they have just sat by and be like, oh, they're all mindless sheep anyways. Don't matter. None of them know any better. None are the wiser. No, that's not right. That is not right. Because all the children who were ADHD, they made sure to drug them up when they were born with high vibration. Yeah. I think I might go in now. There's somebody outside. Oh my god. There we go. Woo! You got
Hello. There's a Ryan. Is there a Ryan right there? Oh, wow. Beautiful. Beautiful Ryan. Star right there. So far away from Orion. Woohoo! I'm thinking that every disease is a program that they downloaded into all of us, even autism. Because remember, autism is a frequency. Mental retarded. Everything you could think of. Cancer. It's all frequency. You mess one organ up. All the other organs fall off the track. They all have to be in a certain frequency. You have to have your organs in balance in a certain frequency. If one is out of balance, that disrupts the rest so yeah figure all this stuff out everything that's happening and they never talk about anything beautiful that's going on they always keep that a quiet they don't even bring that up on the news no they want to really keep us all ignorant as hell Ignorant, that is their goal. Ignorant is bliss for them. They don't want, they didn't want to raise any intelligent people. They didn't want thinkers. Thinkers are a problem. That's why, put you in school, make you eat their food, poison the food, keep you at low vibration. That's the main goal, 24 seven, low vibration. And if you have high vibration, I'm going to label you, label you as ADHD and give you medicine for that. In the meantime, the whole time, if you're ever out of vibration, they have a machine that can tune you right back into um, vibration. And they don't use that to heal anyone. They keep that a secret. There's an actual machine that can do that. Unbelievable, right? All these people are sick that could have been cured. I know they want them to die. That's the point. Earth is overpopulated. You know what? Earth is not overpopulated. You know what the problem is? They'd rather people die than them to stop selling oil and coal and gas. So they're going to say oil is overpopulated. Because it's easier to kill off people like Bill Gates doing, killing everyone with their vaccines than for them to do what's better for Earth. They don't care, they're demonic. They even put poison in the, in the heavenly waters above. They put poison in the ocean. They're always spilling oil, everything. They're starting all these fires. What do you think that is? To push us all into one group like a herd of sheep. Because they have plans for districts. It's like the Hunter's Game. I watched this documentary, and they, um, this girl said that she used to, uh, she was being tortured, and she had to run, and they were shooting at her. And one time she saw a bush there too. And it's like they make them run for their life, and they traumatize them so they could be programmed. It's called Project Mockingbird. A monarch, Project Monarch. That's why you see the butterfly in the eyes. They do that. They make you crack like they did Britney Spears. Like what happened to Marilyn Monroe and Elvis and everyone. Once they get to understand and comprehend what was really going on here, start drinking and doing drugs because they can't cope with it. 
And then once once they're listening to everything they say, so as soon as they say they want to tell the public, they just kill them. They don't want no one to tell the public. This whole thing has been a farce. Ever since Jesus died, they pretended to do so. It's a joke. They just wanted the churches to keep going. It's all been about money and land, title rights. And who owns the ports? That's what the popes are. The popes don't heal you. You never hear no stories about the popes healing anyone. And they have all these different healing things that I, 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 I found out today. It's unbelievable. And all these different baptism things that they can do. And all these different um, things that they could do to heal you and anoint you. But they don't do that. They don't talk about that. They keep that quiet. So they want us all to drop dead like flies. Because they want to keep the royal bloodline going so, so, so bad. They just want it. And they want all their personal property and their rich mansions. And why we all live poor for the rest of our life. And they're happy with it. And that fills their stomach at night. And they can live with themselves because they have no conscience. They feel no empathy. You know why? They're not like us. You're different. You're the soulless. I don't have a soul. That's why I don't feel empathy and compassion. And that's why they don't really care about humans because they hate us. They're jealous of us. Because of everything that we, we feel love, we feel happy, we feel all these emotions. And everything that they display is all an act. It's all an act. Pretending to be happy. They play the part like an actor on stage. When you think about it, you think how hopeless this world is. It's really hopeless. It really is hopeless. Doesn't matter how many videos I make or another person makes, what change is that really gonna do? I already hacked my phone two times. And I think they've been sending these beams of rays trying to kill me. That's why I've been having pressure in my brain. Yeah. So, it's not going to make any difference. No one's really listening. No one's awoke. No matter how much you try to wake them up, they still don't get it. They really believe in the system. I met a young boy. He's like, oh, you voting for? I'm voting for Trump. He goes, oh, I'm voting for Biden. I'm like, well, Biden's not in his right mind. Haven't you seen Biden, like, all the speeches? He's incoherent. He's lethargic. He's unable to articulate his sentences and his thoughts. And you want to vote for him? Do you know that he wants to make the world communist? Yeah, and he still wants it. And this young man looks like he's young and he's smart, but he's really a program. He must be a program. I mean, we don't really have any more choices than Trump. So, even Trump, I think, is all bull crap. It's all for show. There is no United States, it's all a corporation. people underground controlling everything is to make people think that they have some type of rights and power. No one has any rights and their votes don't matter and they have no power. Now they're taking the little bit of freedom that we had. It's never really had freedom. So if we had freedom, we wouldn't need a passport to fly on a plane. We wouldn't need that, would we? If we had freedom, we wouldn't have to get birth certificates, would we? We wouldn't be forced. If we had freedom, we wouldn't be forced to give our children vaccines we don't want to. If we had freedom, we wouldn't be forced to allow DCF to come to our house. We have no freedom. It's all been a lie. 
Land of the Free is the biggest joke ever. There is no freedom. You can't go anywhere you want. And even when you go on the highway, you gotta pay a toll. You gotta pay. And they're watching you. They're tracking your plates and everything. Who's moving there and who's doing this and who's doing that. You need a license because you have no freedom for everything. Because they want to track, track you. Because everything is data. And they, they get paid for all the data that we have and we get nothing. We just sit here and be poor for the rest of our lives. And dream about the places we wish we could go to. We never can. Watch videos, wasting time. It's all meaningless. Think how meaningless this life is, really. You really feel like you really are an animal. Because how could you be a human and be treated like this? You really are being treated like animals. Now they want to eat us? <laughs> oh my God, man. This is unbelievable. They want to eat people now. They lied to us about everything, history. Everything's a lie. Even the food pyramid's a lie. They, they, they forged certain documents to give them rights. So they created the history that they wanted us to know. I remember hearing Bill Biden say, well, make an Egypt. We'll have to make one in an old video, and I'm like, wow. That's what they did, they made a little Egypt to claim rights to certain this and that. Change names and states and stuff so they could claim ownership. And I found out that Jack Kez found America, not Columbus. Maybe that's why he was murdered. Because he found America, not Columbus. You see how history is? They just kill you if you get in the way of their little timelines. They love their little timelines to match up to their story. And if it doesn't match up, they kill you. And if you try to create a really good invention, they'll do one or two things. They'll never give you the patent. Or they'll kill you and give you the patent three days later. You know how many crazy, insane things they do down here? It's unbelievable, isn't it? So unbelievable. As soon as the uh, COVID came out, I knew instantly they were going to change the Bill of Rights. Thanks to all those people that were harassing the police officers. And I knew instantly they were going to push for synthetic food. And guess what? I was right about both. And everyone looked at me like I was crazy. No, you could never change the Bill of Rights. That's, that's set in stone. No. No, it's not. And then when you think about how they made the church and the foundation of Peter, that Peter was the rock, that was a lie. Peter was never the rock. Peter denied Christ. Peter was a coward. And Peter... It's not the foundation of the church. It's never been the foundation of the church. <laughs> all their churches are rotten anyways. Every single one. I renounce all church. They all do demonic witchcraft rituals. And, ugh. and anyway, Simon was the one that helped Jesus carry the cross. Now they say Peter's actually Simon. No, Simon is Peter and Peter is Simon. And, uh, and that, because they say Peter is the rock, that gives them the right to the royalties of Christ. As long as we're still in this mental mind frame of worship, we never break out of this loop. Christ, to my understanding, did not come down here for a religion. He came down here to break all those religions and tear them up and destroy them and tell us the truth that's to my understanding going to my delusional and my program I don't know and 
you know what, that didn't change anything when he died because the, all the churches still kept going. They created a new religion of Christ and they got millions and billions and billions of dollars the churches did. And now they had us all um, going to churches with these priests and they, they say that they are father like God. What the hell? They're a father like God. No, they're not. I never said that. I never agreed with that. Guess what? They all think that they are the Papa, the PayPal. So that's what it means when you go to church and you see a priest that you are saying that he is the Father, like God, in the likeness of God. Wait a second, wasn't Jesus in the likeness of God? Wasn't he the Son? And now we're saying all these priests in the world are in the likeness of God. Absolutely not. When they've been lying to us for millions and billions and billions and trillions of years. Now I don't trust any of them. Pray and I could pray and I could pray. What's that gonna do though? Really? They're going to make a miracle? Is somebody gonna be saved? Are we we're supposed to be saving ourselves? As long as we keep looking for someone to save us, we'll never be saved. We have to save ourselves. And the only way is to raise our frequency, break out of this mental mind frame jail that we're in. Elevate our consciousness. Da 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 da. da. Oh yeah, I heard it all. And I, I even wonder if that's just a program. If everything is always disinformation, more disinformation, more disinformation. It's a constant loop of disinformation. So you never know what is real and what is not. So I wish I could see through all the shit. All the 